real quick. Come on right here. If we're just standing in front of here like this, this is okay for boxing. You see boxing matches where they're kind of like in here kind of circling and they're playing like this, right? Okay, in boxing range, do they have to get worried about taking down? So they can just stand there and just kind of, you know, feel out the distance between hands, right? They're not kicking each other. But in MMA, it's different because the ranges are different. So I can't just afford to stand in front of him because now I am just a target to him. There has to be movement. There has to be changing of angles. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to tackle footwork from a defensive point of view. How do you utilize footwork to make yourself safer defensively and then also set up angles for your offense? Here's the first thing. Everybody knows that if he throws a jab, we simply parry, right? You take the backhand and you block it. You move your head out of the way as well, right? You guys ready to be blown away? Right. One little thing, watch. So when you parry, you take a step to the side. Look at, look at from this angle. See, if I stay here and stand still, we're still in the neutral, right? But when he throws, kind of like that, what happens? So on your parry, I don't want to just stand still and parry in here and move my head a little bit. I want to take a step. Did you guys see that? Sir, sir. Okay, stand up real quick. Face this way. Okay, go on your right lead. Okay, now watch this, you guys. I want you guys to just take a step out and then let it trail and get back to your stance. Okay? So let's do it together. Okay, ready? We're going to move this way. One. Two. Three. Good. Come back to center real quick. Okay, now this time when you're moving with your foot, I want you to move your head to the same way you're moving. One. Two, three, good. Let's try one more time. Ready? One, two, three, good. Okay, how this translates is that, watch, when he throws the jab and I move, I'm already kind of getting an angle, right? So what I want to do is I want to throw that jab low at the same time. So slowly, step. Now, Danny is probably the only one that realizes, but what I'm doing is, I'm totally taking that little exposed, everybody put your fingers right underneath your chest. You feel that bony part right there? Yes, sir. That's what I'm tapping. <laughs> now here's the thing, once I tap that, that hand usually kind of gets lazy. So looking at it from this angle, right, is this okay? Should I slow down? Yeah, it's a little bit because you're lightning fast. <laughs> <laughs> So if I'm going for that rib shot, but now if he's lazy about that other hand, what do you think is going to happen to his body feel once I hit him in that rib? He's going to kind of sink, the hands kind of come down to the body, so that's why it's going to make it easier to come back up with that second one, right? So slowly have one side feed and just fit that in. Okay? All right, can you guys try it on each other? Yes, sir. Okay, let one side feed for a minute. 